Welcome one more time. Good morning to everyone, students. Let's start with the class for today. I'm going to show you your classroom presentation tool. Yeah, and now there it is. Okay, we were learning about these the previous class. Do you remember? We were doing uh, those activities about to wrap up. Yeah, and there is the wrap up page, right? We were talking about this. Now, let's go let's go uh, to this part students yeah oh, oh, let's check let's check this last part no that that it says uh, in the real world in the real world that we have to talk about something no for example you have to talk about a real market yeah uh, now well let's see let's continue let's continue and now for example it, it they were talking about the Otavalo market, right? The Otavalo market, the Otavalo market is in Ecuador. It's open every day, but Saturdays are very busy. It means uh, Otavalo market is a very common market in, in, in Ecuador, yeah? Okay, for example, uh, here we have some markets too, right? Yeah, but well, now let's go on, on and let's start talking about this. It says fan in the city. What is the fan in the city about? Okay, we have some different uh, uh, pictures on this part. Yeah, and you have to you have to tell me here some information. Yeah, we have here four lessons too. We are gonna talk about places to see, the use of shoot can, lesson V asking for recommendation, giving recommendation. Then we are gonna use some adjectives. Okay, we are gonna use adjectives for example, uh, to describe, we are going to use superlatives. Then we're going to learn about, uh, we have a reading about uh, San Antonio, Austin, right? Then we have, uh, or we're going to write, we're going to make a writing, a message board. Yeah. Look, you have here something. It says, now describe a picture. What is happening in each picture? Uh huh. Which of these uh, things do you do? We have to describe. You tell me, please, where are these people? Do you have an idea? Where are these people? They are at the market. They are at the park. They are at a museum. Where are they? Hmm? What do you think? Do you have any idea? about where are they, in what place are they? Mm -hmm. What do you think, what do you think, Mayori? Where are these people? Um, museum of the pictures. Oh yeah, right, very good. It could be at the museum, right? At the art gallery, no, at the art gallery, excellent. No, here we have some people you not know, looking at the pictures, the paintings, very good. Now, what, what can you see here? Where is this place? Hmm? It's a city or it's a farm? What do you think? What is this place? Hmm? It's a city or it's a farm? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Come on, volunteer, tell me. What's this? What's the, the place number two? It's a city or it's a farm? Mm -hmm. Do you know? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think, Nicole? What's this place? It's a city or it's a farm? Mm -hmm. uh, city. Oh, very good, Nicole. Yeah, this is a city. This is a very big city, right? And a lot of places, a lot of cars. You have here uh, a big avenue, right? Look, no? There are one, two, three, four, four cars going 
on one direction. And look, you have here something. What says here? Trump, do you remember? The Trump buildings, Donald Trump's buildings. Yeah, this is one of Trump's buildings. Okay, now tell me what's number three? What's this place? Hmm? What's this place? Do you know? Do you can you tell me? Hmm? What do you think? What's this place, students? What's this place? Tell me, Martel. What's this place, Martel? What do you think? Hmm? No ideas, Martel? What's this, Martel? What's this? Vamos, vamos, tell me. It's bus station or it's a subway, Martel? What do you think? Martel? It's bus station or it's a subway? Hmm? Vamos. You 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 have you have two options, Martel. Bus station or subway? What do you think? Será un subway o será un bus station? Hmm? Vamos, Martel. What do you think? Subway or bus station? Bus station. Are you sure, really sure it's a bus station? You have here two options, huh? Subway or bus station. You know bus station, are you sure, Martel? Or it's a subway, what do you think? Oh, Martel. Subway. Subway, right? Yeah, this is a subway. But también podríamos decir como algunos Lo conocen, también train station. Yeah, train station. It's the same. What's the difference? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? ¿Cuál es la diferencia de subway con bus station? ¿No son lo mismo? Yeah, basically, básicamente. Pero, por lo general, cuando se menciona y, y, y se hace referencia al subway, es porque hablamos de un tren que está de manera subterránea. ¿Ya? Pero a un tren que está sobre este, la superficie, no se le va a llamar subway, no se le va a llamar train station, por ejemplo, una estación que esté eh, en la parte este, de la superficie. ¿Ya? Yeah? Ok, now let's see. What do we have here? What's this? Hmm? What's this? What do you think? Do you have a restaurant? Oh, very good, Castillo. No, this is a restaurant. No. And this is really, really nice. No, this is a restaurant on the street. On the street. Right? No, uh, for example, uh, in some places, in, in some other countries, no, it's usual to find these. No, in algunos este, otros países es bastante usual encontrar callecitas donde este, te vendan El branch. ¿Qué es el branch? You can see here. Branch. Branch es como decir un desayuno tardío, pues, ¿no? Desayuno tardío. Es como para las personas que van a, van a desayunar un poco tarde en la mañana. ¿Ok? To branch. To breakfast. Ok. What else? We have here another place. For example, what's this? What do you think is this? Hmm? Look, huh? this part. Usually you see, you see here something and you have here the apples, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, and look at this place. Where are these people? At the beach or at the town center? Where are these people? 
What do you think, Ramirez Jaco? They are at the beach or they are at a town center? Hmm? The beach. At the beach, are you sure? Seguro que están con su ropa de baño y demás. They are at the beach, are you sure? Or they are at the town center? That center. Town center, right? El centro de la city, el centro de la ciudad, right? For example, in Huanuco, ¿dónde está el town center en Huanuco? Por la plaza de armas, pues no el centro de la ciudad. That's the town center, yeah? Okay, don't forget, beach, playa, okay, San arena. Now, where are these people? What are they doing? What do you think? Are they having lunch? Are they playing soccer? Or they are dancing? What do you think? Vamos a ver, vamos dancing. A yeah, they are dancing, right? They are dancing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see. Let's continue to this part, students, and let's try to do this activity very fast. We have here the title. No, this is the lesson A, lesson A that says, you shouldn't miss it. Okay, you shouldn't miss it. We're gonna talk about some places here. No, pay attention, please. Look, uh, sorry, listen, listen, and you are gonna repeat. Okay. Unit eight, fun in the city. Lesson A, you shouldn't miss it. Page 76, exercise one, vocabulary, places to see. One, G, square. Two, H, statue. Three, A, botanical garden. Four, C, fountain. Five, D, monument. Six, B, castle. Seven, F, pyramid. Eight, E, palace. Okay, you tell me, please. Uh, what is number one? What's number one? Who knows the answer? Vamos a ver. Let me see who is here. Tell me, tell me. What is number one? The yeah, that's right. No? Number one is square. Letter G. You have here the answer, letter G. Okay, please, uh, Xiomara, you label, please, the picture. Yeah? Uh, use the annotate option. Vamos a utilizar la herramienta annotate in order to do this activity. Okay? Uh, please, Xiomara, write on this part, the alternative. Uh, now, we have number two. What is number two? Do you know the answer? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Angie? What's number two? A statue. Yes, statue, right? Statue. Okay. You please, you have to label this part. This is the Statue of Liberty. You remember the Statue of Libertad, Statue of Liberty. Yeah? Well, this is not the Statue of Liberty, right? This is a Statue of Namas. Okay. Now, what about number three? What's number three? You can tell me the answer. Vamos, come on. Fast. The Angie label here, please. Yeah? Vas a escribir the alternative, your answer. Uh, what's number T? Number three. Okay, sorry. Nobody? What's number three? Hmm? We have here the, the, the answer, no? Letter G, square. Then we have here letter H, stature, 
right? What's number three? Letter A, Botanical Garden. Very good, Marjorie. Excellent. Please, you complete love the picture, yeah? Botanical Garden. Excellent. Now, what about a number four? What's the answer in number four? Letter C. Mm -hmm. What says on letter C? Tell me, tell me the answer. What do you think? Vamos, vamos, dime el answer completo, no solamente el alternative. What's the word? Fountain. Yeah, very good. Fountain, right? You have here the answer. And please now you label, please. Label the picture, yeah? Vamos. Hmm, very good. Castillo, right? This is the fountain. Sorry, my mouse is kind of... Okay, yeah, I think it's better now. No está muy estable mi mouse, chicos. No sé qué pasa. Okay, está un poco, un poco raro. Okay, now please, uh, you tell me what is number five? What's number five? What's the answer? What is the answer in number five? Hmm? Mama, tell me, tell me the answer. Not just the alternative, no solamente la alternativa. Tell me, tell me the answer. What's the answer? Palace, castle, monument, pyramid? Monument. Yeah, very good, no? Number five is monument. Please, label, label the picture, okay? Write your answer. Uh, I'm gonna do this. The monument, there it is. Mm -hmm. What about number six? What is number six? Mm -hmm. What do you think? What's the answer? What should be the answer? Number six. You don't know? You have here three options. Is it castle, palace, or pyramid? B is castle. Okay, very good, Nicole. Now please level the answer. Yeah, no, it's castle. What about next? What about number seven? What's the answer in number seven? Hmm? What's the answer here, students? You have here two options. Nicole said number six is castle. That's right. Pyramid. Yeah, very good, right? Number seven is pyramid. So now please, you are gonna love the picture on this part, yeah? Write your alternative. Okay, very good, Castillo. And finally, we have the letter, the number eight, no? What's this, what is left? Can you scale on this part? palace okay and you have to write here no the alternative letter uh, letter eight is palace oh sorry number eight is palace so it's letter e yeah well and now we have the the activity uh, done right now uh, we have to we have to do some examples here <clears throat> for example um, we can say some examples in, in our city. For example, if we talk about Huanuco, we can talk some things, right? <clears throat> For example, um, in Huanuco, there is a main square, right? When you, when you say that there, uh, there is, it means, uh, <clears throat> lo, lo utilizamos pues para poder indicar si hay o no hay. No, for example, you can say there is a nice, no, 
what? For example, you can say there is <clears throat> a nice fountain, fountain in the center of the square. ¿Verdad? En Huanuco, there is a fountain. Yes or no? There is a nice fountain. This is the fountain. No? There is a nice fountain in the center of the square. In el centro del square, de la plaza, no? You have here the fountain. What else? ¿Qué más podríamos decir? Hmm? What else is in one? Hmm? Do, you, do we have a statue? What do you think? Do we have botanical garden? Do we have monument, castle, pyramid, palace? Can you see? Hmm? I think in Wanuko we don't have we don't have botanical garden, right? No tenemos botanical garden. In, there isn't a botanical garden in Wanuko. Fountain, yeah, we have fountain in Wanuko. We have fountain. No? Botanical garden, maybe in Tingo Maria, right? Yeah. Now, in Wanuko, do we have monuments? Yes or no? Do we have monument in Wanuko? There is, mo there is a monument in Wanuko, or there isn't a monument in Wanuko? I don't think so, right? I think we don't have monument in Wanuko. What about castle? No way. No, in Wanuko there isn't a castle. What about a pyramid? No way. In Wanuko there isn't a pyramid, right? What about palace? Do we have palace in Wanuko? Yes or no? There is or there isn't a palace in Wanuko? No, right? Creo que el único palace es el Tragamonea, no? Real palace. That's the only palace that we can see. Okay, but we have here in Wanuko, yeah, we have here the uh, square and we have the stage, right? Those are the, the things that we have, for example, in Cartagena's Park, in el Parque Cartagena, que es pues el de la iglesia, eh, el que está frente a la iglesia San Francisco, San Francisco Church, we have this, no? A statue. Yeah. Okay, now, let's see, let's continue, students. Here we have, oh my goodness, mi mouse está, está un poco loco mi mouse, chicos, sorry. Yeah. Okay, here we have the language in context. We have here this, the attractions in the city. Yeah, read about uh, what to do. Uh, what to do in these three cities? Which cities are good for shopping? We have here three cities, students. No, we have, for example, uh, Guayaquil, Ecuador, Seoul, South Korea, and Cairo, Egypt. Okay, please listen. Page seventy-six, exercise two. Language in context. Attractions in the city. Guayaquil, Ecuador. Enjoy shopping, cafes, fountains, and statues on El Malecón, a popular walking area. It's a fantastic place to take a long, slow walk or ride on a tour boat. Seoul, South Korea. You shouldn't miss the small neighborhood of Insadong. It's a great place to shop for books, pottery, and paintings. Later, you can walk to a nearby palace or relax at an old tea house. Cairo, Egypt. Love history? Then you should visit the Egyptian Museum. You can't see it all in one day, so be sure to see King Tut's treasure and the famous mummy room. Okay. We which cities are good for shopping? Let's answer this question. Guayaquil, Seoul, or Cairo? Mm -hmm. Guayaquil. 
Okay, Guayaquil, very good. That's all? Just Guayaquil, solo Guayaquil? Or there is another place? Hmm? No more? Just Guayaquil? Solo Guayaquil is good for shopping? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. What do you say? What do you say? Mm -hmm. Vamos, vamos. Tell me your answer. Nobody? Hmm? Just Guayaquil, chicos? Solo Guayaquil? And what says here? ¿Qué nos dice aquí? Eh, for example, no? Uh, it says here. It's no neighborhood of Amsterdam. No? It's a great place to shop. No? También aquí nos dice que es un buen lugar to shop para comprar. No? For what? Books. No, you can go shopping there. And there is South Korea. Yes. South Korea, it's a good place no? to buy for shopping. Yeah. Well, now let's continue. Let's continue. What else do we have? Mm -hmm. Here. We have here the, the, the use of should and can. Okay, so pay attention. Listen, please. Page 77. Exercise 3. Grammar. Should. Can. Should for recommendations. Where should I go? You should visit the Egyptian Museum. They shouldn't miss In Sadon. They should see In Sadon. Should she go to Cairo? Yes, she should. No, she shouldn't. Can for possibility. What can I do there? You can enjoy cafes, shops, and fountains. You can't see all of the museum in one day. Can they take a taxi? Yes, they can. No, they can't. Okay, now we have here uh, the reference, right? About uh, the grammar part, about the use no, of should or the use of can. What's the difference? What's the difference? What's the difference? Now we are going to notice here on the examples. Yeah. For example, you know this here. Uh, that we use should for recommendation. No? Utilizamos el should, chicos, para dar recomendaciones. No? How can you say a recommendation? Como decir, eh, Deberías, no? Or, or for example, in this, in this case, where should I go? ¿A dónde debería ir? No? Pido algunas recomendaciones. Entonces dice, uh, I'm, I'm traveling to Tingo Maria. Voy a, voy a ir a, a, a Tingo Maria, no? Where should I go or what should I visit? No? ¿Qué debería visitar? ¿Qué debería conocer? And there it is, no? Should. Uh, recommendation. Para dar o pedir recomendaciones, ¿no? Here you have the recommendation. ¿no? You should visit, deberías visitar. You should visit the Egyptian Museum. They shouldn't miss in Saddam, right? También puedo utilizar de forma negativa. They shouldn't miss, como decir, no deberías perderte, o sorry, no deberías perdértelo, o no deberías este, 
eh, dejar de visitar, ¿no? No deberías dejar de ver, ¿no? You shouldn't miss, ¿ya? ¿Ok? And what means here, ¿no? ¿Qué significa? Es lo opuesto a que a they should see, que deberías ver, ¿no? ¿Ok? Now, what else? We have here the other part, the other part that says, should she go to, the, to Cairo? ¿No? ¿Debería ir al Cairo? Should she go? Si es affirmative, yes, she should. O si es negative, no, she shouldn't. ¿Ya? De esa manera. ¿Ok? Now, we have here the other part that says can. How do I use can? ¿De qué manera utilizamos can? To talk about possibility. Para hablar de alguna posibilidad. Recuerda, should recommendation can possibility. ¿No? For example, ¿de qué manera podemos utilizar the possibility? Here, ¿no? What can I do there? ¿No? What can I do? En este caso, pues, es una posibilidad. Es algo que podría ser o algo que no podría ser. Es una possibility, ¿no? For example, what can I do there? ¿Qué debo hacer ahí, no? O ¿qué puedo, sorry? ¿Qué puedo hacer ahí? What can I do there, no? Si voy a Tingo María, what can I do there? ¿Qué hay para hacer? ¿Qué puedo hacer? ¿Ok? Now, you can enjoy cafés. Aquí están las posibilidades, ¿no? You can enjoy, puedes disfrutar los cafés, shops and fountains, ¿no? ¿Qué más? Eh, en la negative form, también podemos utilizar una forma negativa. Puedo decir, you can see all the museums in one day, ¿no? Una posibilidad es que you can see all the museums, que no puedes ver. ¿no? Todos los museos en un solo día. You can see all the museums in one day. ¿No? Luego aquí, otra possibility. Can they take a taxi? ¿Pueden tomar un taxi? Can they take a taxi? Possibility affirmative, yes, they can. Negative, no, they can't. ¿Ya? Yeah? Now, it says complete the conversation with should, shouldn't, or can, or can't. Then practice with partner. It says Should I rent a card in Seoul? No. And here, tell me. No, I think you. Vamos, ¿qué será ahí? Recommendation or possibility? Hmm? ¿Será una recomendación o será una possibility? ¿Mm? What do you think? Should I rent a car? Si tu pregunta ya está con should, ¿ok? Tu respuesta también tiene que ser con should, pues, ¿no? Significa que la pregunta está pidiendo una recomendación, recommendation. Should I rent a car? No. I think you... Should. Right? No, I think you should take the subway. ¿Qué más? Dice, you get around quickly and easily. ¿Mm? What's on this part? A recommendation or a possibility? What do you think? Podrá ser una recommendation you get around quickly and easily? I don't think so, right? It seems more like this is a possibility. And you can say, no, you can. You can get around quick and easily. No, tú puedes movilizar de manera fácil, rápida. Okay? In the subway. Now, imagine, in big cities, yeah, no? En ciudades grandes, yeah, it probably it could be a best option. Now, here it says, oh, no? Oh, good. And what places, what do you think? Possibility or recommendation? ¿Será una possibility o será una recommendation? Hmm? ¿Qué 
What do you think? Hmm? Possibility or recommendation? Hmm? Tell me, tell me the answer. Possibility. Okay, possibility. What places can I visit? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could be a possibility, yeah. Pero mi, mi, mira, mira tu, tu respuesta. ¿Qué dice tu respuesta? Well, you miss the palace. ¿Ya? Yeah. And it seems, y esto está como, vimos este ejemplo aquí en la parte superior, ¿no? You shouldn't miss, ¿no? Well, you shouldn't miss the palace in this case. Right? Entonces... Si mi respuesta es con una recommendation, mi pregunta también tiene que ser con una recommendation, right? Está pidiendo recomendaciones, ¿no? What places should, should I visit? ¿no? ¿Qué, ¿Qué lugares debería visitar? ¿No? Y aquí está. You shouldn't miss the palace. ¿No? What else? And you... What do you think? ¿Qué más? Mm. What do you think? ¿Qué tendríamos que mencionar aquí? And you also go to the art museum. Si estamos hablando de recommendation, pues también tendría que seguir con la recommendation, ¿verdad? Deberíamos seguir realizando las recomendaciones. And you should, ¿no? And you should also go to the art museum. ¿Ok? What else? What else? ¿Qué más tenemos por aquí? And you see here, ¿no? You see it all in one day because it's very big. Ya, esto está bastante parecido a un, a un ejemplo que ya lo vimos anteriormente. Mm -hmm. See it all in one day. Aquí, mira, si te fijas, tenemos un example que dice aquí. ¿Ve? Lo mismo. You can't see all of the museums in one day. ¿no? You can't see it all in one day. O sea que no vas a poder ver todos los palaces. ¿Ok? Oh, sorry, todos los art museums que estoy hablando. Los art museums. You can see all it in one day. No, no vas a poder ver todos los museos de arte in one day. No, it's very big. But you, ¿qué dice aquí? Buy really nice art books and postcard there. What is this? A possibility or a recommendation? Books, art, sorry, postcards. Yeah, this is a recommendation, oh sorry, this is a possibility, ¿verdad? Esta también es una possibility, es una posibilidad. El que puedas comprar, ¿no? Books, que puedas comprar postcards, ¿ya? Yeah? And you have this information on this part. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's see the next part. Yeah, well, what do we have here? It says a listening. My city. Listen to three people describe their cities. Number the picture from one to three. Okay, you have to number in this part. No, here, here. Okay, you're gonna listen and then you're gonna number. No, we have here Istanbul, Mexico City, and Florence. Pay attention. Page seventy-seven, exercise three, grammar. Should, can, should for recommendations. Where should I go? 
You should visit the Egyptian Museum. They shouldn't miss in Sadon. They should see in Sadon. Should she go to Cairo? Yes, she should. No, she shouldn't. Can for possibility. What can I do there? Sorry, sorry, this is not the listening. One moment, please. Pay attention. Page 77. Exercise 4. Listening. My city. 1. I live in Mexico City. It's a fantastic city. There are a lot of interesting things to do in Mexico City. I think people should visit the main square. It's called the Zócalo. And it's really, really big. I also think that people should go to the top of the Pyramid of the Sun. There are 250 steps to the top, but the view is fantastic. 2. Right now, I live in Florence, Italy. Florence is a very popular city, and we get a lot of tourists. Many people come here for the great art. People should see the Statue of David by Michelangelo. It's a really famous statue. People should also have ice cream here. Italian ice cream is delicious. You can buy it all over the city. 3. I live in a great city, Istanbul, Turkey. There's so much to see and do here. One very famous tourist site is the Topkapi Palace. It's beautiful. Yeah, tourists should definitely visit the palace. Visitors should also go on a boat trip. You can take a boat from the European side of the city to the Asian side. That's pretty cool. Okay. Tell me your answer, please. What's number one? Mm -hmm. Do you know the answer? What's number one? Istanbul, Mexico City, or Florence? Come on. Pay attention. You're going to listen one more time, okay? Pay attention to the details. Page 77. Exercise 4. Listening. My City. 1. I live in Mexico City. It's a fantastic city. There are a lot of interesting things to do in Mexico City. I think people should visit the main square. It's called the Zócalo. And it's really, really big. I also think that people should go to the top of the Pyramid of the Sun. There are 250 steps to the top, but the view is fantastic. 2. Right now, I live in Florence, Italy. Florence is a very popular city, and we get a lot of tourists. Many people come here for the great art. People should see the Statue of David by Michelangelo. It's a really famous statue. People should also have ice cream here. Italian ice cream is delicious. You can buy it all over the city. 3. I live in a great city, Istanbul, Turkey. There's so much to see and do here. One very famous tourist site is the Topkapi Palace. It's beautiful. Yeah, tourists should definitely visit the palace. Visitors should also go on a boat trip. You can take a boat from the European side of the city to the Asian side. That's pretty cool. Okay, now let's start, please. You're going to tell me the answer. Okay, let's start. Um, excuse me, uh, Moises. What is number one, Moises? Istanbul, Mexico City, or Florence? 
Mm -hmm. Vamos, vamos, Moisés. What's number one? Istanbul, Mexico City, or Florence? Andrea, what's the number one, Andrea? Istanbul, Mexico City, or Florence? Mm -hmm. What about a uh, Velasquez, Sumi? What's number one, Sumi? Mexico City, Istanbul, or Florence? Mm -hmm. You don't know? Angie, what's number one, Angie? Istanbul, Mexico City, or Florence? Mexico City. Yeah, very good. They say, no, Mexico City, number one. Very good. Now, what's number two, uh, Martel? Istanbul or Florence? You don't know, Castillo. Istanbul. Mm -hmm. Number two, Istanbul. Are you sure? Okay, Sir Ramirez Jacob. What's number two, Istanbul or Florence? Mm -hmm. Florence. Yeah, very good, Andrea. Number two is Florence. Okay, now let's write here number two, Florence. And finally, yeah, it's obviously, obviously, right? Number three is Istanbul. Yeah, now you have here the numbers. What are you going to do now? What's the next activity? Ya vamos a hacer. Listen again. Vamos a escuchar one more time again. I would say write two things that people say visitors should do in their cities. Vamos a escribir de acuerdo a lo que nos menciona qué es lo que las personas pueden hacer in the city. What should do, for example, in Mexico City, Florence, and Istanbul. Okay, pay attention. I'm going to play this now. Page 77. Exercise 4. Listening. My city. One. I live in Mexico City. It's a fantastic city. There are a lot of interesting things to do in Mexico City. I think people should visit the main square. It's called the Zócalo. And it's really, really big. I also think that people should go to the top of the Pyramid of the Sun. There are 250 steps to the top. But the view is fantastic. 2. Right now, I live in Florence, Italy. Florence is a very popular city, and we get a lot of tourists. Many people come here for the great art. People should see the Statue of David by Michelangelo. It's a really famous statue. People should also have ice cream here. Italian ice cream is delicious. You can buy it all over the city. 3. I live in a great city, Istanbul, Turkey. There's so much to see and do here. One very famous tourist site is the Topkapi Palace. It's beautiful. Yeah, tourists should definitely visit the palace. Visitors should also go on a boat trip. You can take a boat from the European side of the city to the Asian side. That's pretty cool. Okay. Do you know the answer? For example, Mexico City. What can you do in Mexico City? What can you do in Florence? What can you do in Istanbul? Yeah, listen one last time, please. Pay attention. Page 77, exercise four. Listening. My city. One. I live in Mexico City. It's a fantastic city. There are a lot of interesting things to do in Mexico City. I think people should visit the main square. It's called the Zócalo. 
and it's really, really big. I also think that people should go to the top of the Pyramid of the Sun. There are 250 steps to the top, but the view is fantastic. 2. Right now, I live in Florence, Italy. Florence is a very popular city, and we get a lot of tourists. Many people come here for the great art. People should see the Statue of David by Michelangelo. It's a really famous statue. People should also have ice cream here. Italian ice cream is delicious. You can buy it all over the city. 3. I live in a great city, Istanbul, Turkey. There's so much to see and do here. One very famous tourist site is the Topkapi Palace. It's beautiful. Yeah, tourists should definitely visit the palace. Visitors should also go on a boat trip. You can take a boat from the European side of the city to the Asian side. That's pretty cool. Okay, now let's do very fast this activity, students. Mexico City, what I can do? What do you think, Marjorie? What they can do in Mexico City? What do you think, Xiomara? What can you do in Mexico City? Zocalo. Okay, visit the Zocalo, the main square, right? Visit the main square. Yeah, it's called Zocalo. What about uh, number two? What's the other activity? Hmm? They talk about something about the top. Mm -hmm. They say go to the top of the pyramid, right? This is something that you have to do. Now, what about Florence? What can you do for in Florence? Mm -hmm. What do you think? What's this? Hmm? It's if you see on this part, is it says that you have to see you no know, the statue of, of David, right? Yeah, this is something that you can do here. What else? Kemas, what else? There is another thing. Is that popular? Popular city. Yeah, okay, it's a popular city, but what can you do? It says something about it. It says it on this part, okay? Eat ice cream. No, it's very popular. Eat ice cream. Yeah. What about Istanbul? What can you do? It's something about visit. You didn't listen? Visit the palace. Okay. What else? What's the other thing? What else can you do here? On Istanbul, it says boat trip. Okay. This is another thing that you have to do. Siempre que escuchen, chicos, guíense por las palabras claves, nada más. Ya, tengan... Tengan en cuenta esa referencia. Ok, now, well, students, I'm going to assign you a homework. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver, let's see the last class. I assigned you this, right? Let me see, there is not for you. Ok, we are here, right? We're doing this. Les he dejado la página 56, ¿verdad? La, la clase anterior, ustedes trabajaron el 56. Ahí está. Right? ¿No? Les he dejado como homework el 56. Ahora les va a quedar como homework el 57. Ya, les voy a dejar como homework the page number 57. Uh, 58 and 59. Yeah, las tres páginas como homework. 50, 
57. Ya. 57. Vamos a ponerlo aquí. Luego el 58 y el 59. Ya. Eso vendría a ser su homework, chicos, para la próxima clase. O oh, perdón, este, para que lo suban a su plataforma virtual. ¿Ok? Ya. Yeah. Well, students, just want to say that's all for today. Thank you very much. See you the next class. Goodbye. Bye-bye to everyone, students.